Hi everybody, Lorraine here. What I have is an 11 by 14 inch canvas and I've already put a thin layer of black paint on it. And I'm trying to decide exactly what I want to do. Thinking about putting some very bright colors like this um, fluorescent pink. I have a fluorescent orange. I have a ultramarine that's bright. I have this tiny bit of violet left over. Um, and I'm just trying to decide exactly what I want to do. I think what I will start out by doing is putting some colors in a cup and maybe do like a ribbon pour down the center and see what happens. Put some of the fluorescent pink, fluorescent orange, the ultramarine. Oh, those are very, very pretty together. I don't know if I want to even put the purple in there. That is so pretty. Put a touch more of these in there and I'm gonna call it good. That is just gorgeous. And now, I'm actually thinking, I might just tilt this up. And see what happens. Bring it down a little bit. That blue and orange is not playing well together. Love the bright colors. Continue this down. Now the pink is kind of taking over. It's pretty. I like it against the black. Let's see what we can get this to turn out to do. Some very pretty little swirls in there. I see that I am missing a, get a little bit of a bare canvas down on this side. I'm going to rack it from side to side. A little bit. See if we can stretch it out. Back it back towards me. I think it needs a little help. Doesn't want to move real quickly. My bat black is very, very thin. Could be some interesting little um, lacing effect on the edges with that black being so thin. Get back this way. Let's 
just very slowly bring it back down. Maybe losing the brightness of the blue. But it's getting a very interesting effect where I'm pulling it down at the very top closest to you. See those really neat little don't even know what to call them. They look like splashes. It's very cool. Rock it back towards the center. I can see how thin my black is on my right, your left. It's just kind of running right in this area here. I'll tilt it so some of that goes away. Very, very bright up here with that pink. I don't like this down here very much. Kind of turned um, a little strange color. But I'm willing to bet that it's going to dry looking pretty nice. A lot of tiny little air bubbles in there. I didn't put any silicone or anything in this paint. so bright, like it's shining. Love it. Love it, love it. Cover this corner a little bit. Get my edges. Not sure if I should do something else with it or not. Kind of thinking about what would happen if I stretched out some of these little wispies, but they look so pretty just the way they are. Just covering some spots that look like bare canvas. Very 
very nice. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I really like it. It's so vibrant. I will bring the camera down so you can see it a little bit closer. Okay guys, here it is finished. Looks kind of like lava to me. Look at the way it's kind of looks like flames moving upward. Ooh, sorry, overexposure. But there we go. Turned out kind of pretty. I like it. There we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you coming to visit with me. Bye.